Well, there was a big change over in Don Schumacher Racing and the Funny Car Group this week as uh, Ed the Ace was taken out of the position of running Ron Cap's car. It was given to John Medlin. So we ask uh, Ron and Ace, what about that? It's tough. It's tough because it's a business. That's a business part of it. And for me, emotionally, having Ed McCulloch as my crew chief, not only here at Don Schumacher's, he was with me, got three or four years over at Snakes. Um, you know, it's a bond that we've developed. Um, conversely, John Madlin. I mean, I'm, what else can you say about the guy? Um, I've always looked up to him. Uh, his characters, there's nobody you'd look up to more out here. I mean, he really is a great guy. And he... Uh, it's, he's blended right into this whole organization, so uh, I really couldn't ask for a better guy, you know, if there's somebody else. And the, the good part is Ed's still around. But I understand and I respect Don's decision. He decided he wanted John to, to take over the reins here, and uh, I point blank ask him, you know, what did he want me to do? And he wanted me to assist John and work, help with the other guys, and so that's what I'm doing here. As you see John Medlin there taking over the crew chief duties. Had the ace McCullough standing off to the side. Not a position that he's familiar with in recent years. Always been out front uh, guiding Ron Caps into the beams. Well, you're going to hear more and more about this. Ron Caps, by the way, currently sits in 12th. Remember, we only carry over the top 12 from the second session, the Friday night session. There's Don Schumacher who made those decisions that affected all of these changes. Well, Cap sits 12th with a 427, and Cruz Pedregon is currently out of the top 12. He stands on a 456, would, would put him about 14. Well, and coming off of the Bristol qualifying effort for Cruz Pedregon, where he ran very well, but then struggled in elimination. Ron Cap, remember, he went out for first round in Bristol, also third race in a row, which necessitated the change in Don Schumacher's eye. I think whether this was a good change will remain to be seen. John Medlin, plenty talented, but I also think that the Ace McCullough has, uh, is, really knows what he's doing. He just kind of got in a little bit of a bind, you know, a little bit of struggle. The car wasn't running bad, just wasn't running great. out of it a 406 at 306 miles an hour Don Schumacher seems very pleased with that one and that moves caps to number one that was a nice run I'll tell you in these conditions I mean obviously we have good conditions but still this was a very good run I don't think it's gonna hold up for low ET but a 406 elapsed time at 306 miles per hour run almost 265 miles per hour at the eighth mile good indication the track is tight we knew it was because I mean the, the Sun out. Look at the glow from the headers out there, man. That thing was lean and mean going down the racetrack. John Medlin likes what he sees there. And there's the hug between Ed the Ace and uh, Don Schumacher. Well, Ron Capps out of the car. He's happy that 406 with the nine puts him number one, but we've been changing number one with regularity here. 